After the break, we uncover the science of bad breath with simple tips to stay fresh and show you how uh, doctors can now screen for the offending bacteria. Yeah, so I've got to get my breath tested after the break, but, but my breath never stinks. So it's great, I'll never... Bad. We know bad breath can be very embarrassing and if you do experience it, I don't think you're alone, a staggering 50% of people have bad breath at some stage. Our next guest is a dentist and halitosis expert, Dr Jeffrey Spizer, who has got some new technology to help us ban it. Good morning, Jeffrey. Good morning, Kerry ann Bad breath, what causes it? Very simply, bacteria already living in your mouth and throat are taking proteins that are on your tongue, your teeth, your gums and mucus at the back of the throat, breaking the proteins down for energy and giving off waste products and those waste products smell. Okay, so proteins, that sounds like something we eat. Not necessarily. All things like uh, plaque that you build up on your teeth is protein based. Uh, coatings that you get on your tongue if you don't clean your tongue surface have proteins. So the bulk of the proteins are actually just day to day life of, of biofilms building up in our mouth. Now there are people who have chronic bad yes. breath and then a whole bunch of people, you know, we know there's morning breath, we know there's garlic breath, we yes. know there's cheese yes. breath. Yes. Yes. So how do you differentiate? Well, we differentiate by using this particular machine, but in general, a person that has a health problem, so if they've got uh, gum disease, gingivitis, nasal issues, those people tend to have chronic bad breath. Or if they've got saliva problems, people that might be going through cancer therapies on a lot of prescription medications, they, they ruin their saliva. Okay, so proving that mm. we have bad breath, and I'm not sure why we ne actually need a machine to prove it, but I think it is a scientific way to explain how. It... Jamie, and this uh, particular um, computer program takes eight minutes to diagnose now yep. Jamie went through this, yes. so you take a sample of his breath, put it into this machine, Correct. it is a bit, about, a bit like CSI. So explain what we're looking up here, these okay. three um, uh, graphs. What you're seeing is the, with the little pointer is that's basically the gases coming off the tongue surface. Mm -hmm. uh, that's basically from the teeth and the gums. And this is from the back of the throat past the gag reflex, the mucus that builds up during the okay, night. Okay, so how, and Jamie did not, have, he was not allowed to clean his teeth or eat anything for two hours. No, he didn't clean his teeth since last night. Oh, Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. No, no, we told him not to. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, how do you rate Jamie's breath? Jamie uh, is non-smellable, he's, he's fine, but well, you're not allowed to be above those yellow numbers and if you have a look at the first gas, Jamie told me in his lifestyle quiz he doesn't clean his tongue surface with a tongue cleaner, which is general for the population in Australia. And okay, come, here, come and sit down yeah. by the way, Jamie. So, um, so I just brush my tongue, I don't use a cleaner. Thing. Okay, well I've got to say, the whole brush and the tongue things, you know, I don't think a lot of, do a lot of people do this? No, not in Australia, it is not an accepted trend, but what it shows, very simply, Jamie's got spotless oral hygiene, yet his reading off his tongue surface was 110 and the level, the threshold, oh, was 112. Oh, he's so pleased with himself after <laughs> his birthday. Okay, so how do we stop bad breath? Um, clearly, th is this a hygiene issue? No, not always, not always. And this is why we need a machine, because uh, the machine will tell you if you're looking at a medical problem, a hygiene issue, or a lifestyle issue. So that's, that's the thing. It tells us, for example, if we see a high reading on the first gas, we know it's a hygiene problem. Okay, we'll get on to both the issues. Just if it, we're just regular people, we do not want to offend on a daily level, what do we do? How do we clean our teeth regularly? Clean your teeth regularly. Clean your tongue, but use a tongue cleaner then to scrape the coating off the tongue. Remember, it's coatings that are being broken down. So you've just got to scrub is, your it's tongue it's this every one time. Over here, isn't it, the every tongue? time. Is that a tongue think cleaner? Of it, think of it as part. I had to go with it. I thought it was a spoon. Think of it. <laughs> you can use a spoon. There isn't. I mean, it's just a mechanical. So aid. every day, when you clean your teeth, clean your tongue. Yeah, you clean your teeth, your tongue with a toothbrush, and then you scrape the tongue cleaner over the tongue surface. Okay, so because it's the proteins that break down that cause. Correct. What about and food? Carbohydrates versus proteins. Now you've got cheese. Yep. Are these the sort of things that are bad for us to eat? Basically, all proteins will break down to amino acids and sulfur products. They're the smells, the sulfur products. And cheese if you are is full a chronic, of them. if you have a chronic issue, never eat cheese or dairy. No, that's right. That's exactly right. Never eat cheese or dairy. It's a, it's the killer. Okay. What about soft drinks and things? Okay. The other things that stimulate the problem is acids and dry mouth. Mm -hmm. Anything. Um, all your soft drinks, your Gatorades, um, coffees, all those sorts of things are acid. So they will stimulate the volume of bacteria that are going to cause the problem. Mm -hmm. And dry mouth will come from stress, alcohol, um, sometimes commercial mouthwash. D do mouthwashes work? Depends what you're using them for. That's my question yeah. too. Yeah, I mean, it's such a 
that, that's a topic in itself. Mouthwashes work, yes, and they also cause the problem. Oh. What do you mean? Why, why would it cause a problem? Because most of the mouthwashes have alcohol or acid in them, and they're the two stimulants of the bacteria. So I think that the message here is if you have a chronic problem, you must see, uh, be seen to it. Uh, clean your tongue, clean your teeth regularly yeah. and get yeah. some help. Dr Jeffrey Spiezer, thank you. All the information on our website, kerryann.com.au. We've got more coming up. Here's a, a bit of a look at a full-size laptop computer.